What's up you guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review and today we're taking a look at several different figures at once just because I want to review these guys all at once instead of doing them separately because they're kind of all made to be together and uh, they're two different sets and I got these from my buddy Greg at Exy and Japanese Imported Toys. You guys know that booth at G-Fest. One of the best dealers at G-Fest. Great man to buy from. Great man to deal with. Thank you, Greg, for these Hedra Marmots. That's what we're talking about today. Marmots. Something that I don't have a lot of, but I've been starting to get into. Now, with Hedra, though, I want to say he's going to be my main point for Marmots because I'm, you know, Hedra is just one of those monsters that he's not in my top favorites, but he snagged my eye in these different lines that he's in that you know these companies have these different molds and whatnot you got m1s uh i believe there's some bull mark stuff marmots and then there's a ccp is what i think it's called too some ccp hedras out there but they're just awesome looking molds and sculpts but not only that but hedras just that kaiju that's caught my eye in these lines to really go good with those wild, you know, psychedelic, crazy colors. And, uh, you know, he just really caught my eye. And I think that, you know, that's mainly what I want to go after now. Because, I mean, the collecting has really slowed down for me. I pretty much have everything I want. I'm pretty much going by what's being released as far as X Plus and other things go to see if I want it or not. But some stuff that I want to hunt down is, you know, wild colored Hedra stuff. You know, crazy... Crazy colored Hedra stuff, M1s, Marmots, you name it, you know, CCPs, you know, all that stuff. I just find it great. Hedra is just a great monster that you can do those wild colors with, and he actually looks pretty freaking cool. You know, not saying anything against anything else, like my friend James Hartman, who collects uh, the uh, Marmot uh, Desugojis, you know, the Burning Godzilla molds. He has almost every variant, and he has a colorful lineup of those and those are beautiful figures some of those i like myself but i'm just really fond of some of the hedra sculpts and the colors out there that they throw on this guy it's just awesome and ridiculous and i just, again i just love it and i think it really fits the 1970s theme of hedra you know what i mean because you know godzilla vs hedra 1971 it's very psychedelic you know it's very funky and I just think all those wild colors that they use on these figures really fits Hedra in that way. But uh, just to get it out of the way, here are the header cards, you know, for these Marmots. You know, again, they're two different sets, but reviewing them both at once. So, you know, header cards, more or less the same. Um, you know, the stickers, the licensing stickers on them say 2004. And then on the figures, I noticed on them stamped, it says 2003. But except for this guy, he actually has a stamp that says 1998. So I don't even know if this guy is a part of these sets or not, or if he was just thrown in there and maybe Greg didn't notice. But uh, this guy actually has a stamp of 1998. Again, I don't know too much about Marmots and how long they've been around. But, um, you know, almost pretty much everything else is like 2003, but this guy is uh, 1998. So uh, that's, that's pretty interesting. But anyway, enough blabbering and talking about all about that. That's pretty much, you know, my background on why I kind of want to start collecting these wild colored Hedra figures. Even though these ones aren't too wildly colored, these are probably as close to accurate as you're going to get for Hedra as far as, you know, uh, you know, besides other figures like X Plus and Bandai and everything else. But I still really dig these a lot. These are awesome. And let's just get straight on to it. Uh, first thing I want to look at is I'm going to look at them in order of Hedra's transformations. So I'm actually going to start off with this little item, which is really cool. This is actually, for all of us who have seen Godzilla vs. Hedra, the little dish that has the little, you know, dried, you know, fish tadpole thing that is a little tiny Hedra, I guess. And, of course, then it dried out and whatnot. But this is actually a really cool piece to have. You know, it represents a scene in the movie other than, you know, the monsters themselves. And it's just a really, this is just one of those pieces that's really cool to have just because of what it represents in the film. So you got the little dish with, you know, just a black painted, you know, tadpole Hedra thing with yellow eyes. You know, they dotted little yellow eyes in there. Uh, the base itself, you know, is pretty much just like a silver mixed in with, you know, a little bit of smokyish black there on the corners and whatnot. But, uh, you know, very, very nicely sculpted. You even kind of have like a little bit of a, 
a spine detail going down the tadpole. I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera, but um, it's actually a really, really neat piece. Really neat piece to have. So now that's out of the way, uh, let's go on to his next stage, which is one of my favorites of this set. Uh, Hedra's, uh, you know, almost pretty much like his first stage, other than that, when we see him, you know, going through the ocean and whatnot. You know, he's got these little tiny stubby legs, a uh, little bit of a tadpole look almost, and just those eyes, those eyes in the front are just awesome. I actually really love the way that this Hedra looks, you know, face forward, looking onto it. Looks really good. Uh, color, of course, you know, silver mixed in with some grays and whatnot. And then there is a little bit of mixture of a little bit of like some sort of a redness and a little bit of a green. You can kind of see it more on some of these other guys, but it is in there nonetheless. Eyes, of course, red, black, and then green instead of like, you know, a yellowish thing that we're used to. And I really like that green in the eyes. That's really cool. Uh, detail, very good. You know, Hedra's just a sludge monster, so I mean, he looks like sludge from pretty much any angle. But I really like this, you know, little tadpole first stage form Hedra. Looks great. Looks awesome. And then articulation, he just has a joint here. But again, these are marmots. Don't really need a lot of articulation. But just has a joint that you can spin all the way around right there. That's about it. But cool nonetheless. Next on, probably the golden jewel of this figure. Here is Hedra's landing form stage. You know, where he kind of represents, you know, kind of like a frog or whatnot. And when he's, you know, smoking on the smokestacks in that one scene before he fights Godzilla. This is Hedra's landing form stage. I still really want to get the X plus 25 centimeter of the landing stage Hedra. But that one's really hard to find. Lucky I got the 71 Godzilla. But, um, anyway, different figure line. Another story for another time. But, again... Color-wise, you know, silverish with, you know, blackish and grays, and then you can see a little bit more of that green, you know, mixed in there on his, uh, you know, on his legs, his back, top of his head. You can kind of see a little bit of the darkish reddish, you know, maroon color there, but not really. And then, of course, his eyes, a very nice red, black, and then it's back to the yellow. So you're back to, like, the, you know, the yellow around the pupils of the eyes and whatnot. But, uh, you know, very, very nice color. You know, detail again. Hedra's just a bunch of sludge. So you got all the sludge coming down and whatnot. Uh, you got his tail coming out here. Very nice. You got, like, kind of like the puff packs on his back where he stores all the pollution and the smoke and whatnot. Um, just looks really nice. And, uh, yeah, just looks awesome. Very awesome landing form stage Hedra here. Uh, Marmot, excellent job. Looks freaking great. Probably my favorite of the set. And then, of course, articulation. You can turn his head, you know. And then his feet, you know, you can kind of, you know, you know, pivot and swivel outwards like so. Uh, same with his back legs. You can kind of, like, form them up like that or, you know, however you want. You know, he's pretty much crawling in this stage, so you pretty much kind of keep him pretty much like that. But very cool figure nonetheless. Detail, paint, and, uh, yeah, looks awesome. Sorry, didn't mean to drop you. But... Now we'll move on to his flying form, Hedra's flying form stage, very awesome. Again with the colors, silver, black, gray, you can kind of see some more of the green and the red mixed in there like I'm talking about, not really a red, more like a you know deep maroon, purplish kind of color, but uh, it's in there, you can kind of see it on this side of his wing, I guess, but um, you know, very nice paint all the way around, eyes, are again red, black, and then they're back to the green again on this guy. Very nice. Uh, as far as detail goes, very nicely well done detail on the top for the eyes looks nice. On the underneath side, you know, where he's got like these leg things for where that's how he grabs Godzilla, I guess, at the end of the movie and drops him. Um, you know, just all the all the wavy sludgy patterns and whatnot, you know, down to Liz's little tiny little tail there. Just very nice detail all the way around. Looks great. No articulation on this guy, but as you can see, there is a seam there. And the figure's not broken. That's just the way the seam comes together. And, you know, it does separate and whatnot. But, you know, no articulation. That's just, you know, a seam there because this, this figure is, uh, like, in two pieces or whatnot. But it's not broken. That's just the way the seam goes together. But it's not too much of an eyesore because, you know, when I have them on the shelf... He's literally just looking at you like that, 
So you really don't see that seam at all or whatnot, so it doesn't bother me. But there is Hedra's flying form stage. Now we're on to the final form stage. Very nice. Again, paint, you got the silver, blackish, you know, grayish colors, a little bit of the green, and that dark purplish maroon red color in there. Eyes, very nice red with black, and then yellow back again. And uh, just looks awesome as far as detail goes. Again, Hedra's just a bunch of sludge, you know, very sludgy looking. Uh, back, very nicely well done with, you know, the, the sludge sacks or whatever you want to call them. Top of his head, you got that crack there that, you know, lights up in the movie. Very nicely well done. Down to his tail that just kind of sticks out there at the bottom there. Uh, you know, as far as articulation goes, this guy's head is a different piece, but it doesn't really move. Um, at least mine doesn't want to move, so I don't want to force it and maybe break it accidentally. I really don't want to do that. But his arms, you can kind of push out just a little bit. So this guy does have some joints and seams, but not a whole hell of a lot. But that's okay. Uh, Marmots, they're, they're not really, they don't really need articulation, you know. They're pieces of art, just like everything is. But looks awesome, nonetheless. Love it. And now back uh, to uh, this guy, which I said had a different stamp date on him. Instead of 2003, like all of those, this guy has 1998. If anyone knows anything about marmots, uh, maybe just help me out. Give me some more information about these guys. I did as much research as I could before I did this review, but I really wasn't coming up with much. So I'm giving you guys everything I have. But uh, this is a very nice final form stage Hedra. Uh, you know, it's, it's small. Uh, you know, the paint job is the same. So maybe he is a part of these sets. Uh, why he has a different stamp date on the bottom, though, I don't know. But um, he does have the same paint apps. He has the same paint applications, exact same colors. And, uh, you know, eyes are red, black, and then it's back to that green again. But then, of course, you got silver, blackish, grayish, and then a little bit of that green and that maroonish, purplish, red color right here and it's on a few other spots. But, uh, and then detail, again, he's just sludgy, and then this is another Hedra final form, pretty much. Uh, got a little tail that comes out here at the bottom. Uh, you know, the head kind of goes up there as a slant into this big bulb here. But, um, yeah, you know, detail and paint, very still nice on this guy. Really do like this piece. I do like the green in the eyes versus the yellow. That's just, uh, my, uh, that's just a preference I have since I got these figures. And, uh, I just really dig that green. Green's one of my favorite colors. And uh, I just really dig the green in the eyes versus the yellow. And then as far as articulation goes on this little guy, you know, his head looks, you know, left or right, spinning all the way around, whatever. But uh, just very nice pieces uh, nonetheless. You know, um, this is a great, I'm very happy to have these. Um, you know, thank you again, Greg, for, uh, you know, hooking me up. Again, I thought he sold these to somebody else. And it appears that he didn't, that sale didn't go through. So I was not going to hesitate snagging these up just because I just thought that they were cool. I didn't even know they were two different sets until he told me. And I was like, oh, that's cool. So I'm getting, you know, two sets of Marmot figures, actually, instead of the one whole lot thing that I thought it was. But uh, that's about it for my review on these guys. Again, I put out as much information as I could. If anyone has any information that they want to give, it's welcome. And I'm just going to sum this up. This review is probably really long, but uh, let's just sum it up. Again, hope you enjoyed this review on these Marmot Hedras. And uh, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Like always, please comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video review. Thank you for watching.